All right, so we've determined that your inner thigh muscle, your adductors are stiff, restricted, and we wanna open them up, or you're about to warm up for a workout that has a high demand for you to be using your groin muscles. So we're gonna get into a quadruped position here, so hands and knees to start us off. And then I'm gonna pick my left leg to be the one that we're gonna be stretching. So I'm gonna give you guys a static stretch or also the dynamic version of this. So I'm gonna take my left leg, I'm gonna straighten it out as far as I can comfortably. If I feel a stretch here right in my, in my inner thigh, that is far enough, I can just hang out here for about two to three minutes, or I can make it more dynamic and I can start pushing my butt back until I experience a really deep stretch, and then I'm gonna come back forward. Deep stretch, and back forward. The idea here is to not allow your lower back to be rounding. We're trying to keep it, uh, maintain relatively neutral spine. Um, and a couple other things for the people that were probably not experiencing the stretch here at the beginning, if you just want to do a static stretch, you can just sit your butt back and then if you feel it there, you can just relax. But back to the dynamic version of this, you can do this for about 30 to 50 repetitions. You can do it for 30 seconds to 90 seconds. You can do it for two to three minutes. Uh, the, the choice is always yours. But the key component here is maintaining a neutral spine, always constantly feeling the tension right through here in the groin and then also making sure that my foot is pointing forward. And then obviously we would do the other side. 